Hi there, Cancer. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 4th of July. A week which begins, of course, with Independence Day, but also with a fantastic new moon in your sign. But this new moon, which is about refreshing your personal identity and about gaining new energy as you connect drive with your emotions, the drive from the sun, the moon obviously around your emotions and of course it's your ruling planet, well both are forging a fantastic angle to Neptune, the planet of dreams and imagination. So if you find yourself over the next month being a lot more enterprising, but particularly creatively or around demonstrating your individuality, it really wouldn't be a surprise. The clustering of energy in your sign with the Sun, Mercury and Venus all in Cancer is all particularly significant. And Venus forges all through this week a fantastic link with Mars. Now of course they're the two planets of love and romance. Mars is more masculine, Venus more feminine. Venus in your sign suggests that you can take the initiative or you're going to draw someone to you because you're going to be given out a very special uh, star quality. Mars, however, is in a very playful and demonstrative part of your horoscope which is going to give you extra vitality, drive and self-belief. So your sex appeal is really going to be heightened by all this wonderful energy. If you're fortunate enough to be traveling, I do feel that the experience can be particularly vivid and you can find yourself soaking up what you see, whether it's through the physical beauty of the place that you travel through or through the conversations or even perhaps around the culture that you encounter too. You're also going to have a much greater appreciation of the arts and whether you love photography or film or anything cultural, this can too be a time when you can show initiative and demonstrate really that you can be very much a leader, which of course your sign is about. It's a cardinal sign. So is there a catch for this week? Well, there's a couple actually. Venus is clashing with Uranus. And if you're in a relationship, a long-term relationship, and you are wanting things perhaps a little bit too much on your terms, someone could surprise you by their forthrightness in terms of how they view you, which may be very different to how you view yourself. And with the Sun also clashing with the power planet of Pluto in the second half of this week, there could be some kind of challenge that's going to come your way. It's sometimes we have to be very single-minded to achieve the things that are important to us. But there is a balance to strike between uh, being very much on focus and on message with that uh, agenda that we care about so much, our own individual needs, and demonstrating our creativity, our flair. But there are other times when we have to be more cooperative and collaborative. And I think in the second half of this week, you are just given a reminder that it can't all be on your terms, that you have to stay mindful of other people's needs. And it is about, at the end of the day, a little bit of give and take and compromise. But on the whole, I do feel that you're going to be absolutely glittering with, uh, with real energy, real personality, which can draw many magical things to you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.